everybody in this video I'm going to show you how to make two different concentration of uh, light solution so you can use it to adjust the pH of your beauty product okay remember we use an acid to lower the pH and we use a base an alkali solution to increase the pH so if your pH is a bit too low perhaps you use too much of acidic uh, uh, active and the pH of a product is too low you're going to use a base solution to bump up the pH an alkaline solution to bump up the pH and that's what we're going to make basically the most popular alkaline solution is 1090 light most of us do not know that we can actually use different concentration we can use 25 75 lie also so in this video i'll show you the safe way perhaps you've been using it the wrong way you've been using a different method i'll use a safe way to make this light concentration and how you can use it i'll demonstrate of course not full demonstration i'll just tell you how you can use it just reinstating what i said in previous videos so basically what you have to do make sure you have a scale that is uh, calibrated ensure you calib you have calibrated your scale just like I've shown you on this channel. So if you want to go through uh, my previous videos on how to calibrate a scale, recommend a scale for, for making beauty products. So go through those videos. Now what you do, this is different from what I showed you before. Remember while we were making citric acid solution, we added water to citric acid. But in this solution, you have to be careful. Make sure you wear your safety gloves, safety goggles, and make sure you wear long sleeve shirt now you're going to measure so let's first start with 1090 light solution you are going to add measure your light solution and set it aside so that's the first thing you do so i'm going to do 1090 many 10 percent 90 now 10 percent light sodium hydroxide is also called light by soap makers and 90 gram of water okay so if it's 10 percent 90% you can even make bigger uh, bigger amount okay so let's go with this make sure you go for food grade sodium hydroxide as available pure blend natural it's always the best food grade sodium hydroxide so measure because we're making 1090 I'm going to measure 10 gram of sodium hydroxide so measure 10 gram of sodium hydroxide and set it aside you always cover your sodium hydroxide container very well so that is set aside I'm going to measure 90 gram of water because I'm making 100 gram right so it's going to be 10 10 to 90 so measure 100 gram no measure 90 gram of distilled water ninety gram of distilled water So to that you're going to add your lye a little bit at a time. Do not rush it little by little. Okay. Little by little. And mix gently. Okay. It's going to be is an exothermic reaction, so it's going to produce it. So it's the opposite of citric acid mix it well don't let this come in contact with your eye or your skin it's well born okay now you get the food grade it really dissolves very fast okay get the food grade food grade is better to make soap so it's also better as a pH adjuster and now that we have that all you have to do is just package it but also be careful how you package it and what I would recommend is that you can set this aside 
Okay, let it cool down before you package it because it's it's produce produces heat, it's hot, so you want to make sure you set it aside. Let it cool down before you package it into the container. So I'm going to set this aside and let it cool down. I will not cover it, I'm just going to set it aside. I'll take another beaker to demonstrate to you the second part. So the second part is similar to the first part. The second concentration I'm going to make now is 2575. How do we make that? I know you have an idea now. Just for showing you, I will show you again. As you know, I'm very detailed when I'm teaching my students. So what you do, measure 25, 75, 25% 25 to 75%. So 25% of light added to 75% of the still water. So because I'm making 100 gram, everything stays the same. So I'm going to measure 25 gram of uh, lye, sodium hydroxide. I'm using food grade by pureblendnaturals.com. Then I'm going to measure 75 gram of distilled water. So first I'll measure my lye and set it aside. Just like I did the previous one, we are going to measure lye and set it aside. So I'm measuring 25 gram. Always have it covered. Set it aside. Then measure 75 gram of distilled water. Be careful. Do not add light. Do not have water to light. Add light to water, little by little, with mixing. Okay. So you add light to water, little by little, and mix. Make sure you keep this away from your face. Wear your safety goggle. Okay, for your own safety get into your skin it will burn okay mix it until it's clear allow it to cool down then you will package it make sure it cools down to room temperature before you package it okay allow it to settle let it cool down to room temperature before you package it. Be careful. Okay, do not add water to lie. Hard lie to water. Very, very important. You know, if you're not a soap maker, you may not know this, but make sure you have lie to water gently with mixing. Wear a long sleeve shirt. Wear your um, protective uh, glasses, okay? And uh, that's about it. So once it cools to room temperature, Okay, then you can package it. Okay, that's how you do it. And how do you use it? When you check the pH of your beauty product and it's too, and it's alkaline or it's too high, you want to drop this a little at a time. If you're making under a gram, just a drop at a time. Okay, it's all you need. If you're making large beauty product, do it in 0.1% increment. Nothing less than that. Nothing more than that. 0.1% increment if you understand what I mean to you meaning if you're making 100 gram of your beauty product add 0.1 gram at a time so meaning if you check and the pH is high your beauty product is too low then you want to introduce this 0.1% at a time 100 gram meaning you're going to have 0.1 gram at a time now here comes what type of scale do you want to use? You need a solid lab scale. And this is what, uh, this is what I introduced to you a few, few weeks ago. Okay, make sure you go for a solid, solid scale. Like I highly recommend the uh, Ohio scale. Look on my channel, you see me recommending scales to you. And I demonstrated how to use them, how to uh, calibrate them how to take care of them, how to protect them and make them last, okay? So 0 0.1 gram. So how do you adjust the pH? 0 0.1 gram a little at a time. 
so thanks for joining me okay so in my next video i'm going to show you okay in my next video i'm going to show you how long you should keep this for and the best thing to package it so thank you so much for joining me and if you want to learn more about cosmetic formulation head over to stablecosmeticformulas.com and if you want to improve your formulation skill also don't forget to click the notification icon and click the subscribe button this is how to be notified when i upload new video i upload a lot of engaging content useful content for upcoming cosmetic formulators or even experienced cosmetic formulators thanks for joining me and happy formulating